Hey, Uncle Mark here in the Mothership. I uh, just read that uh, Leslie West just passed away of heart complications at 75. He was, uh, he was the first guitar player I ever heard that had a big, big, fat sound. Um, I know lots of people say, well, Jimi Hendrix had this big, fat sound and this and that, but I was so used to hearing thin guitar sounds, you know, at the time in my life I was 10, and I just kept hearing these thin guitar sounds. And when I heard uh, the Live at Woodstock recording, um, I didn't hear it in 69, but I heard it in like 70, 71. I was like, wow, what a fat, fat sound. Uh, that song Southbound Train that Mountain performed at Woodstock is just the epitome of, of fat sound. And uh, you know it when you hear it. And I do have a lesson of uh, Mississippi Queen and Southbound Train. But uh, I just wanted to play a little bit of Southbound Train. There's two ways to do it. One is the album version, the Mountain album. And then the other is the Live at Woodstock. And they're very similar, but there's a little bit of a difference. So uh, this is what the album version sounds like. <laughs> album version sounds and he does this wonderful trick in the Woodstock version which I really I think that is one of the best performances I put it up there with with the Hendrix performance uh, it's just badass in every way and this is what that sounds like <laughs> to being the same. It's just that this little trick makes the uh, Woodstock version, to me, just it, it just hits it out of the ballpark. And that's the version I did for the lesson. So uh, I'm going to do that one more time, give it a, give it a bit more here, and uh, just, just do it one more time. It's just such a badass lick. <laughs> of playing the song and if you really really into Leslie West he's he does uh, he's got a couple of live at Fillmore that are just flat-out fantastic the 70 at Fillmore is a 
fantastic album on its own right. Especially uh, the Mountain albums are great. But the uh, live at Woodstock is just is up there as, as a holy grail performance, in my opinion. The uh, drumming is spot on fantastic. He had a great, great band. And he doesn't get the recognition I don't think he deserves. Very underrated guitar player. But he just uh, had that fat sound that you think of when you think of 60s, 70s guitar players. Really, really nice, thick, fat sound. So uh, I'm going to play some more Leslie West. And I'm going to drink my uh, Stewart's milkshake. I went and got a chocolate milkshake because, uh, because I can. Actually, my wife got it for me, so I didn't even have to go out. So uh, I'm going to finish my milkshake. I'm going to play some more Leslie West. Totally listen to the uh, couple of videos I have. They're old. They're uh, back in the old days when I first started the channel, so I was learning how to teach online and stuff. But look at those videos, and you'll get a really good idea of how to play this uh, Southbound Train, and it's just fantastic. So listen to Southbound Train, listen to Live at Woodstock, listen to it also on the other two, the album version and the Live at the Fillmore. I think you'll really gain a much better appreciation for how great a guitar player he was at such a young age. Just a fantastic fellow as well, from what I understand. Thank you so much. This is Uncle Mark and the Mothership, drinking chocolate milkshakes. We'll see you.